loafers, one of the most comfortable dressy kind of shoes in the universe of dress shoes. I don't consider loafers as fully dress shoes because it's kind of chill. But anyways, loafers, they're still a staple. It is also super versatile. And in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing a pair of loafers that I got in the beginning of this year from the brand Ernest & Collective, a Singaporean brand. And like all my other reviews, it will be based on its aesthetics, its affordability, comfortability, durability and versatility. I will also be showing you guys the different ways to style a pair of loafers like a pro, like a boss. And without further ado, let's get into this. First up, let's kick it off with its aesthetics, right? How pretty it looks. A quick little unboxing. This is the box, the logo. It looks pretty nice. Let's open this bad boy up. Actually, I've already worn this for quite a lot of times already. First impression right out of the box. A very nice and good looking pair of entry level dress shoes. Inside, it has a styrofoam shoe tree, which I appreciate. Keeps the shoe in shape. There are two shoe bags, which is nice. It is also a really nice touch that they included a shoe horn, which helps you slip on your shoes easily. That is pretty much it inside of the shoe box. Oh, and they also have a thank you card. Anyways, back to the focus, which is this bad boy. I got a gray pair of suede loafers because I want to get something different. I feel like brown and black, they're a little bit too mainstream. Gray, it is a little bit different. At the same time, equally versatile. It has a very simple and slim silhouette, very flattering on the feet. It has a 2.5 centimeter heel, which is pretty standard. It also has a rubber sole with studs, which is great for traction and grip. The lining is made of leather as well with the heel part made of suede. The insole is made of leather with the Ernest and Collective logo stamped on it. Overall, the Ernest and Collective loafers, it is simple, it is slick, it is classic. So for aesthetics, I'm gonna give it a solid 9 out of 10. Next, let's talk about its affordability. It retails for 139 Singapore dollars, around 100 to 104 USD. Free shippings and returns in Singapore. Usually, you can find it on sale around 10 or 20% off, especially on holidays. The reason why they can sell it for a relatively lower price is because they use cemented construction, which means the soles are glued to the upper. Not the best construction, but it reduces the cost. So for affordability, if it is Goodyear welted or if it is black stitched, definitely 10 out of 10, even 11 out of 10. But for cemented construction, it's all right. I'm gonna give the affordability 7 out of 10. Okay, next, comfortability. Let's talk about its sizing first. I always like to recommend to go to the store to try it out yourself if you can. But I also know that this is an online brand, so they don't have a physical store. But they do have a sizing chart provided, which is pretty accurate. I measured my feet to be around 27 centimeters, which is Euro size 43, UK size 8.5. The sizing is a little bit weird, right? They are in Euro sizes, as you can see on the shoe. But if we look at the UK size, which I am UK 8.5, it is half a size smaller than my Converse Chuck Taylor and my Adidas Stan Smith, which I wear UK size 9. But in terms of fitting, it fits comfortably and perfectly right off the box. Maybe I chose the suede version, that is why it is so comfortable. Pro tip, all right, suede shoes, they are usually more comfortable than your normal leather shoes because suede, it is a more softer and easier to break in leather. The insert is made of a very soft leather, very nice to the touch. The heel of the shoe feels really comfortable against my heel right off the bat so I don't have any abrasion or anything something I always appreciate whenever I put on a new pair of shoes so in terms of comfortability I'm quite impressed so I'm gonna give it a solid 9 out of 10 okay next durability or the build of the shoes. Ernest & Collective claims they use full grain leather for their shoes and full grain has the toughest quality among all the other leathers. So in terms of the leather, it's pretty good. But for the sole, like I mentioned, it is cemented construction which means that it is glued onto the upper. Not the most durable construction because when you glue something, then it is likely that it may come off and it is not resolable. So in terms of durability as a cemented construction, I'm gonna give it a... Uh, 
a 6 out of 10. Okay, last but not least, it's versatility. Definitely one of the most versatile pair of shoes. I would grade the versatility just a little bit under the all-white sneakers. A pair of simple and classic penny loafer. It is right in the middle between casual and formal. So you can dress them up and you can dress them down. So for versatility, I'm also going to give it a solid 9 out of 10. And overall, I'm going to give the earnest and collective penny loafer an 8 out of 10. And since we are talking about versatility, let's get into some of the dope outfit combinations that we can put together with this pair of loafers. Like I said, you can definitely wear this with a formal office wear, like a shirt and a dress pants. It looks super smart. At the same time, it shows some personality and swag because you're not wearing your usual office dress shoes. And of course, you can pop on some blazer to make your outfits look more sophisticated. You can either go with no-show socks to give that sockless look which is a little more casual and more fun or you can put on a pair of socks to make it look more formal and more conservative. Now casual outfits, you can definitely rock it with casual outfits as well like a pair of jeans and some t-shirts. And if you want to step it up a notch, pop on a polo shirt which makes you look even more dapper. And how about a polo shirt and some chinos? Bam! You got the smart casual perfection. How about a pair of shorts? Yes, you can. Buy them some chino shorts and some polo. Weekends, chill and casual. Or some chino shorts and some casual shirts. In this case, I'm rocking a linen shirt. Perfect for those daytime picnic dates with your special lady. And that, my friend, is how you rock a pair of loafers like a boss. And that is it for today's video. Hope you find this review helpful and these outfit combinations super dope. Smash that thumbs up button to help me out. Subscribe and turn on the notification bell if you haven't done so already. Have a great day, y'all. And I'll see every single one of you in my next video. Bam!